All right, guys, in this video, I want to show you how to turn any ordinary exterior lighting into a dusk to dawn light. All right, so what I have here is, a, is an LED exterior lighting. Actually, this is a pretty good one here. This one came with my garage when I had it built. Um, and I put a um, motion sensing LED light outside. I did a review on it. It's a San Z. It's made by San C uh, Corporation. And I'll put a link. Uh, I'll put a link to it right here, and or in the description below. But I did a review on that light, and that it is a good light. It's it's a dusk to dawn, and it's motion sensing LED. Uh, only uses 27 watts, uh, and it's 200. Uh, it's an equivalent to a 200 watt condescent light. But anyways, uh, and in that place was this one here. I replaced. Um, so this is a very good light. I don't want to waste it. So what I did is I went out and I bought this. Now this is a light controller. This is a dust to dawn light controller. It's a photo cell actually. And this uh, will switch your light on and off when it gets starts getting dark. The light will come on. And then when it starts getting light outside, the light will shut off. And it's super easy to, to install, and I'll show you how to install this. All right, so this is the light controller here. Um, like I said, when it gets uh, dark out, the light comes on, and when it gets daytime, the light shuts off. And it's just a photo cell. Now, there's a lot of different kinds here. Let me give you a close-up here to this one. Yeah, that's it right there. All right. Um... This one here I like because it swivels, and you know you, once you connect it, you can swivel it to where you want it. Uh, they have this type. They have a type that's square with the same deal on top here. Uh, you'll have to look and see which one works best for your application. But what I'm going to do is there's an opening here on the side. I'm going to put this on the side here and mount it up towards the sky so it'll know if it's day or night. All right, the first thing we need to do on this particular light fixture, I gotta take this plate off the bottom here. To uh, see my wires. All right, so in your light fixture, you will always have the black wire, a white wire, and green, okay? Now, my disclaimer, if you're not an electrician, don't do this, okay? Get an electrician to do this. Uh, you know, electricity is not something fun to play with if you don't know what you're doing. But... Um, the black wire is usually the hot. It's always the hot, I should say. The white wire is neutral, and it's also like a ground. But this, in this case, we're going to call it neutral. And the green is ground, okay? Now, normally, the wires come in through the back here into this box. So you can uh, wire everything and tuck everything away. Now, in this photo cell here, you're going to have three wires. You're going to have... The black, which is hot, this is the positive. The white, which is neutral. And then you're going to have a red wire, which is also hot, it's positive. But the difference is the positive coming in, the hot going in, it's sending juice to the switch. And then the switch is sending juice to the light through this red wire. Okay? So you got power coming in through this black, into the switch, and then back out again, this red wire, and to your light. So these two here are going to be uh, connected to the power coming in. And then this is going to go to the light we're going to hook up. Okay? So I'll show you how to do that. On the side of my light, and I've got to figure out which side I want to put it on. I guess this side here. I got this uh, little screw you unscrew here. It's a little, I don't even know what you call this. <laughs> anyway, you take that off. And this is where 
I can put this in. Now you're going to have a gasket that comes with this. Make sure that stays right there. So it pushes up against here. You don't get water in there. Now this also screws in here. That's good. That screws in. Now, I want it, I want this to point up, okay? We're going to tighten it up a little more. Now, I want this to point up in the air into the sky. I can adjust it a little bit later. And now, the nut, we're going to put that inside also. We had, uh, three wires coming out of there. Then we just get a screwdriver and snug it up. There, that's good. So now, as you can see, I got this photo cell pointing up into the sky because this light is facing down. And um, so that part's done. Now the wiring. Okay. So this is the power coming in to the entire light fixture. Um, it's off right now. So what I want to do is run this wire inside. All right guys, so what you essentially have here is three sets of wires. You got your power coming in, which is this gray, gray wire here, okay? Power coming in, and on my right hand, to the right here, we have the wires from the switch, and then we got the wires on my left hand to the light, okay? So we want to connect power from the power coming in to the switch, okay? So what we want to do is get the black from the switch, the photocell, to the black, to the power coming in, and we want to connect that, okay? All right, so the black coming in, power in, goes to the black, to the photo cell, okay? Now all the white wires are the neutral and we, we want to connect those all together. All right? So all the whites go together. So now we have this bare wire from the wire coming in. That's ground. We want to take all the greens and hook those together. Okay, now we have the red coming out of the switch, the photocell, and we want to connect it to the black going into the light. Okay, so we hook those together. And now we should be set. So now what I'm going to do I'm going to point this up towards the lights. I'm going to run power to this and see how it works. Now some photo cells click on immediately and others take a little while, you know, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds or so. So let me send power to this thing and see what happens.
Okay, initially when you first put power to it, it's going to be on. This should shut off in a few seconds. Okay, so we just shut off. Now, it'll probably do the same thing when I put my hand over the photo cell. It's going to take a little time for it to uh, switch. So, like I said, some are instant and some are not. This one obviously is not. Okay. It works. Now I'll take my hand off. There. All right, we got a working light. So when you hook up your electricity uh, to the uh, light and you put your hand over it to test it, some work instantly, some don't. This one obviously doesn't. It takes a little while for the switch to turn on or off. Um, so expect that. Don't think, oh, I did something wrong. You know, give it some time. Uh, it should switch on and off. All right, guys. I hope you found that uh, easy to install. It's it's fairly it's very simple actually. Once you understand how electricity flows, you got power coming into the light. That's going to go first to the switch. So you get the black coming in to the uh, black to the switch, and then you're going to have your whites all go together, your grounds all go together, um, and then you're going to have a red wire coming out of the switch. It's going to send power to the light. So the black wire coming from the light and the red from the switch go together okay so uh hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned how to hook up a photo cell and i uh, will see you in the next video please like and subscribe and share thank you